Acceleration is defined as the change in velocity of an object over time. Acceleration might seem a little bit less relatable than velocity, but it's still something that most of us are used to. If you've ever heard someone say something like, my car can go 0 to 60 in 4 seconds, well, they're talking about acceleration. What they're really saying is my car can go from 0 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds. That means the acceleration of the car is its change in velocity, which is 60 miles per hour, over the period of time, which is 4 seconds. 60 divided by 4 is 15, so the acceleration of their car is 15 miles per hour per second. That's the same as saying the car can go 15 miles per hour faster every second. When the car is accelerating, after every second that passes, the speedometer moves up another 15 miles per hour. And this unit might look strange, but that's what acceleration is. Velocity, miles per hour, divided by time, seconds. Written another way, the unit of acceleration is a unit of position per unit of time, and that whole thing per unit of time. So what would the SI unit of acceleration be? Well, our SI unit of velocity is meters per second, and our SI unit of time is seconds. So this unit would be meters per second per second. Mathematically, that's actually the same as meters divided by seconds times seconds, which is the same as meters divided by seconds squared. And that's our SI unit for acceleration, meters per second squared, abbreviated m over s squared. And we'll be representing acceleration with the variable a. So a car is one example of an object that can accelerate. What's another example? Well, it turns out that if you drop an object, like a ball, it'll actually accelerate as it's falling. This is what we call the acceleration due to gravity. We don't need to understand gravity yet or why this happens, but it's a good time to mention that all objects that are falling with gravity have the exact same acceleration. This acceleration due to Earth's gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared towards the Earth. And we represent this special value using the variable lowercase g. We'll leave it at that for now, and we'll come back to it later. So how do we calculate acceleration? Here's our equation. Acceleration equals the change in velocity over the change in time. You might notice it looks similar to our equation for average velocity. Let's take a closer look. So A stands for acceleration. VF is the final velocity. VI is the initial velocity. TF is the final time and ti is the initial time. And here are the SI units for the variables in this equation. Time is in seconds, velocity is in meters per second, and acceleration is in meters per second squared. Also, although it's not super important, I do want to mention that just like our equation for average velocity, this here is really the equation for average acceleration. But we won't be dealing with changing accelerations in this course, so the acceleration at any time will always be the same as the average acceleration. And like before, you might see this equation written a different way, like this. These two are the exact same equation, but with the variables rearranged in different ways. So let's try an example problem. A car starts from rest when the driver hits the gas, and after 4.5 seconds, the car is going 27 meters per second. What is the car's acceleration? So first, we'll draw a quick picture just to see what it looks like. Next, we need to write down what we know. The problem says that the car starts from rest. In physics, when we say an object is at rest, that means that it's not moving, and therefore its velocity is zero. So we'll say that at the initial point, when no time has passed, that the initial time is zero seconds, and since the car started from rest, the initial velocity is zero meters per second. We also know that at the final point, the final time is 4.5 seconds, and the final velocity is 27 meters per second. After that, we write the equations that we might use for this problem, and here we're looking at our equation for acceleration. Since we have an initial and a final velocity, let's use the right part of this equation. Next, we'll plug in the variables that we know. The final velocity is 27 meters per second, 
and the initial velocity is 0 meters per second. The final time is 4.5 seconds, and the initial time is 0 seconds. If we plug that into our calculator, we find that the acceleration of the car is 6 meters per second squared.